Hi everyone, so I am so excited today because I just got back from work and I got some mail. I bought the new Lisa Eldridge limited edition lipsticks. If any of you have been following me for a while, I love her. I've got her face paint book. I think she's an absolute genius. I one day want to buy one for rings. Anyway, they just came today. I, I think I ordered them on the weekend or maybe Friday when they were launched and they've already arrived. So I am just really impressed with how quick the service is. So I have just opened it. This is what the box looks like. And it's got this little kind of sheet in here, which says, I'm so thrilled to be sending you my limited edition matte velvet lipstick. I hope you will love the sumptuous and delicate true finish. She's taken a lot of time to pack your lipstick with extra cushioning care. Lots of love, Lisa. Yes, there's, there's lots of lots of paper packaging for these three small lipsticks now they are available as singles and they're also available in the pack I don't usually do any unboxings but I was so so excited for this that I just had to just turn on the camera and show you guys I got the set of three because I wanted the beautiful bag that it comes with um, with her logo on it I think her logo is really cute um, it's got her lips and her signature beauty mark, which I have one too. I got the three shades and I love that she released reds. They all look so gorgeous. So it also comes with a, I guess her business card. I don't know. So we're going to just open them and we're going to do lip swatches. I think I'm going to do the stain like she did and then add the full color just to see what it looks like. And then maybe apply some of the cheeks as well so you can see what they look like. The first shade I've got is Velvet Jazz. And now I can't remember which one this was, but I know that they all look very appealing to me. This is what it looks like. It's a gold packaging. She's got a magnetic closure, which I love it when lipsticks have that nice click sound. Um, this is what the shade looks like. And it full on does look, that's a really interesting texture on the outer part of the lipstick. You're probably not going to be able to see it on camera, but she said that she, the way she did the mold, she wanted to replicate the look of velvet, which I thought was really clever. It just adds a really nice touch, um, and I feel like she's all about the small details. We're going to add it as a stain first. So I'm just going to add a little bit on my fingers, and then pat it on. I actually used to wear lipstick a lot like this, like a stain, but it's been a while since I've kind of done that method. It's kind of like a pretty, my lips but better, but kind of healthy look to the lips. It's quite pigmented. I can see that this looks quite natural if you don't want it to look really red like this. I'm gonna also add some on the cheeks as well like she did in her video because I just wanna see what it looks like on my skin. I don't generally put lipstick on my cheeks, but since she kind of did it, I thought I'd like to see what it looks like on me. I think this shade looks quite natural as well. It does look like I'm not wearing much on my cheeks and my lips. So now I'm gonna add it straight onto my lips to get the color payoff. It's nice because it doesn't tug at the lips. It's actually quite, it goes on quite smoothly. And of course I just had to screw that up. I feel like as I'm getting older, I need to use a lip liner because my lips aren't as defined as they used to be. So this is the shade Velvet Jazz. I think this is quite a pretty shade. It's kind of like a mid-tone red, so it's not so deep. The texture of this, it actually reminds me of, kind of reminds me of the Pat McGrath ones actually, but less glossy. This one looks kind of more matte than that one. It still does have a little bit of a sheen to it. So if you wanted it to look more matte, you probably will have to just blot a little bit. What do you think? I'm gonna take that one off with some Bioderma and see how easy it is to take off. That was pretty easy to take off actually. I'm gonna conceal my cheeks as well because I do wanna try every color on the cheeks as well. So the next shade we have is Velvet Morning. This is a stunning color, gorgeous, bright red. I love the look of this. It's so beautiful. So I'm back, Joey woke up, we had dinner and now I'm in my PJs. 
So I was in the middle of trying this and we're gonna try it as a stain first. And it's funny because I was actually thinking as I was looking at the texture, this actually reminds me of the Isemiyaki cauliflower pattern, but like extremely minute, just a thought. So we're gonna try this as a stain first. Kind of reminds me of those Korean brands. They kind of have these somewhat bright colors. I'm also going to add a bit on my cheeks as well. Why not? Probably best with a brush, in my opinion. It doesn't really go with the makeup, but whatever. I probably wouldn't wear it like this. But if you do like wearing your lipsticks like this, this is what it looks like. And let's swipe it on. It's so bright. I don't normally wear reds this bright, but I feel like I, I need to start because this is really pretty. It's really pretty, definitely outside my comfort zone, but if you like this kind of vibrant red, I think you'll really like this. This one feels more powdery than the other one as well, like a powdery matte, but it does feel comfortable on the lips. Okay, so the last shade we have is Velvet Ribbon, and this I think is the classic red shade. And it's beautiful, it's a beautiful red. We're gonna put it as a stain first as I did the other shades. Here's what it looks like as a stain. Kind of just gives a healthy look to the lips. And then on the cheeks, it's pretty pigmented because I haven't dipped back into the bullet and it's still giving me some color on the cheeks. I have seen Lisa do this with a couple of lipsticks, so I know that she does kind of like to multitask her lip products, but you can pretty much do this with any lipstick. I think this is quite a nice shade as a cheek color. It looks really natural. Let's try it on the lips, because I'm. this looks gorgeous. So much pigment to it. This one also feels very creamy as well. This is definitely my kind of red. I love this red. It makes your teeth look whiter, and I think it's very flattering. It kind of brightens the complexion. And this is the shade that she was wearing at the start of the video. I think it's such a gorgeous classic red. So those were the lip swatches of the new and limited edition Lisa Eldridge Velvet Lipsticks. I really like these shades. I think she's done a good job with the packaging and the shade selection, I think that they would suit a lot of different complexions. I like the feel of it. I feel like this is a very creamy matte formula. Um, it's quite comfortable on the lips and it doesn't tug at the lips, which I often find with some matte lipsticks like the ABH ones, the Melt ones. I didn't really like them at all. It is quite lightweight, which I like personally with the matte lipstick. It's also quite opaque. So I actually finished filming and editing the entire video and then I found out that all of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks were now sold out. I think at the time I had started filming it, they were all in stock and then only Velvet Morning, but now none of them are. And so I've kind of tried to look more extensively in my collection to see if I can help you out with some dupes. Now the one that I did struggle the most with finding further dupes of or similar shades was Velvet Jazz, just because I feel like this is actually quite a unique shade to my collection. Vendetta is probably still the closest that I have Nothing else I have is quite like that. So let's get to dupes for Velvet Morning. I felt like Velvet Morning was kind of the more dupable one just because I feel like orangey reds um, are quite trendy and I have just just gonna pop that back in. Uh, I am a rough person so that's actually quite devastating. A dupe I had for that was from Pat McGrath. It's obsessed. I think Red Square is quite similar to this shade and this is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I feel like this is 
quite similar if you didn't manage to get your hands on this one. They actually look almost the same, but I would say this one from NARS pulls slightly more orange. I do have to say though, the annoying thing about these velvet matte pencils is that you do need to sharpen them and because they're kind of a jumbo pencil, a normal sharpener just won't cut it. You will need one with that the bigger hole. Another shade that I thought was somewhat similar was this Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Venice. This is the shade here. I think this kind of is a little bit more neon. So now that I've got it on my lips, I do think that it looks more vibrant, a little bit more neon and punchy. So then Velvet Ribbon is this shade here. And then the dupes I had for my collection, I had Mysterious Red from NARS. I feel like uh, Mysterious Red from NARS is their classic red. In some ways, this is deeper, a little richer. Totally forgot to do slow head shots for the rest of the lipstick, so sorry about that. Similar ones I found from Pat McGrath. I think Elson is somewhat similar, but this is less vibrant. Another one that I found from Pat McGrath, this is actually from their Lip Lust collection, and I believe that Pat McGrath has actually re-released her limited edition lab kits. This is Venom 1 lipstick. This pretty much actually looks like the NARS matte lip pencil. I'm not a huge fan of this applicator. I just find it really hard to get a lip line, but this is what it looks like. So yeah, I don't often do these kind of first impression type videos, but I was just so excited to get these on my lips when I saw that they arrived in the mail. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're gonna pick these up. Um, if you've got them, do you like them? Because I think I'm going to be wearing these quite a bit because I do love a good red lip and I think these are gorgeous. These feel so nice on the lips. I am going to see how they wear um, and if I have any updates, I'm going to put it in the description bar below because obviously I haven't worn them out yet because it is what time is it? It's like nine o'clock right now. Anyway, if you want to see more of my face, you know where to click and uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>